So welcome students. So in this question you are given that you want two two digit numbers in ordered pair of two two digit numbers such that their product ends with 6. The product should end with 6. So how many such pairs of numbers are there such that the product of them ends with 6. So if we know that if the product of two two digit numbers have to end with 6. So the important thing that we need to control are the units, units digits of these two numbers because the units digit of the product only depends on the units digit of the individual numbers. So what are the different possible last digits of these numbers so that the last digit of the product is 6. So as you can see the last digit can be 1 here and the last digit can be 6 here. So if the last digit is 2 here, the last digit number can be 3 here. So if this is 2, it has to be 3 or this can be 2, this can be equal to 8, 2 8s are also 16. So if the first number is 2 and the last number of the second number is 8, also you have the last digit as 6. And if you have 3 as the last digit, if you have 3 as the last digit for the first number. So what are the possible numbers for the last digit of the second number? So 3 into 2 is 6. So and in 3 table, is there any other number which ends with 6? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 27, 30. There is no other number which ends with 6. So if you have 4 as the last digit of the first number, so what should be the last digit of the second number? So in fourth table you have 4, 8, 12, 16. So if you have 4 into 4, you end with 6. And if you go on in the fourth table, 4, 5 is 20, 24, 28, 32. And again you have 36. That is 4 into 9 is also equal to 36. So if the first digit ends with 4, the second digit ends with 9 also, it's okay. And if the last digit of the first number is 5, you cannot have a 6 in the last digit because every multiple of 5, you have, you have either 5 or 0 as the last digit. Now, if the first digit ends with 6, if the first digit ends with 6, the second digit, as you can, the second number has to end with either 1 or 6 also because 6 into 6 is also equal to 36 and if the first digit is ending with 7 so we need to analyze the further numbers so if the last digit has to be 6 if the first digit ends with 7 so is there any number in the seventh table which ends with 6 7 14 21 28 35 42, 49, 56. We have 7 into 8 is 56. In 7th table, if you have 7 here and 8 there, you can have the product as ending with 6. And if you have 8 here, if you have 8 here, so if the last digit of the first number is 8, the last digit of the next number should be either 2 or 7. Or 7. And if the last digit of the first number is 9, the last digit of the second number. So if you go with ninth table, 9, 18, 27, 36, you have a 36, 9, 4, 0, 36. So these are the numbers that can come in the last places. These are different options for which the last number in the product will be equal to 6. So you have 1, 6, 6, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2, 8, and 8 2 4 4 is single 4 9 9 4 5 is 5 cannot happen 6 6 you have single 7 8 and 8 7 so there are distinct numbers all the distinct numbers occur in pairs and 4 4 and 6 6 occur by themselves now let us look at each case so in how many ways can first number end with 1 and the second number end with 6. So if the first number is 1, the tens digit can go from 
any number from 1 to 9. The second digit can go from, the tenth digit can go from any number from 1 to 9. Here also you can go from 1 to 9. So you have 9 options here, 9 different options here, 9 different options here. So you have a total of 81 different options. So 9 into 9, that is if you take 1 here, you can change 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so on. If it is 2 here, again you have 9 options. For 3 you have 9 options. For 4 you have 9 options. So on. Here you have 9 different numbers which are possible. Here 9 different options for each option. So total of 9 into 9 options. So if the last numbers are 2 and 3 is here also, you can have 9 different numbers, 9 different numbers. You have 81 different options. So for each of these options, you have 81, 81. So I'll analyze this separately. So you have 81 options, you have 81 options, 81, 81, 81, 81 options. So total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 10 times 81 options, that is 810 options till now. And in each of these options, the numbers are distinct because one number is ending with one number, the other number is ending with the other number. So they can't be same. Now if you have 4 and 4. So here you have 9 different options, here you have 9 different options. So there are 81 options here also. But out of them, there are 9 options where these two numbers are same. That is 14 into 14, 24 into 24, 34 into 34, 44 into 44, 54 into 54, so on. So there are 9 numbers which are alike. So you have to subtract 9 from here. And here also you have to subtract 9 numbers. So effectively there are two more 81s but separated by subtracted by 9. So we have 72 here, 72 here. So 72 plus 72, 144. So total 144 extra. So 4, 5, 9. So we have 954 different ways in which you can multiply two digited numbers so that the product ends with 6. So here I have not considered, I have considered order as important that is 22 into 48, 22 comma 48 and 48 comma 21, I have counted them as different because 22 into 48 that comes in this case, 48 into 21, 48 into 22 comes in this case. So I am counting 22 comma 48 as well as 48 comma 22 as two different cases. So if I if I take order as important, I get 954 as the answer. If I don't take order as important, if I don't take order as important, I'll get 954 by 2, that is 477. So it again depends on whether you take order as important or order is not important. Thank you.